God, man. Did you bring what I asked? What, the notebook and stuff? Yeah. All right, let's get fucking started. You've got a date tomorrow, Calvin. And frankly, I don't know why you didn't want a session with me sooner. Look, I was just walking in the hallway and then you brought me in here. Listen, I don't have and... time for a history lesson. No more delays. So do you want to like talk about anything or maybe get you a glass of water? Yeah, actually, water. Water? water yeah, yeah, water okay. sounds nice. Rule number one, no water on dates. You're not in court, Zuckerberg. Especially no wine. No whites, no reds, nothing. What about a nice rosé? Stop it. You drink hard liquor on dates. Just take small sips to get you buzzed enough to tell better jokes. Keith, we're both 19. You're missing the point, Calvin. You need to be confident. You need to assert yourself. You need to... You... Did you write anything down? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, next, scenarios. You're preparing for your date. You both agreed on meeting at five. You're feeling good, still got a good amount of time. It's 4.20 with a 15 minute drive. What do you do? Um, I leave at 4.35. That way I get there 10 minutes early, make sure our reservations are okay, and- No, absolutely not. First, you take as much time as you need in the bathroom. I and the price, so keep your eyes on that mirror. You leave at 5.05 precisely. Just enough time so that she hasn't left yet, and enough time so that you can arrive like a badass. Always be fashionably late. There's a reason they call it that. All right, next. Scenario number two. You're afraid of going on the date. You've got the jitters, I guess, I don't know. What do you do? Well, I guess I drink a glass of water and maybe even explain how she makes me feel, because you know, then she might understand what- Trick question! You don't feel scared. You're the fucking prize in here. You walk in there with a flare in your eye. You give her the look. You know what I'm talking about. That look. You tell her with your body, yeah, I know I'm hot shit, so what are you gonna do about it? Next. What are you wearing? Well, I was thinking of wearing something kind of comfortable. Maybe a nice turtleneck and some jeans. I don't know. Ditch the sweater and then uh, ditch everything else. You need an outfit you'd feel good dying in. Own who you are and put that gusto out there. Listen, I'd tell you what I'd wear. I'd wear a jacket, a nice form-fitting shirt that I know flatters me, a pair of pants that really gives me some personality, and then I've got some kick-ass Doc Martens. And bam, that's a powerful look. Did you write that down? Get Dr. Martin. <sighs> okay, moving on. You need a vehicle and you look like someone who hasn't passed a driver's test. How are you getting there? Oh, I think I have a good answer for this one. First, I let her know what my travel situation is like. Maybe she'd be able to give me a ride. If not, I could always get a friend to pick me up and get me there as a last resort. Or I could leave much earlier and take my scooter there. Stopping periodically to rest so that I don't- Jesus! Calvin! Enough! What the hell, dude? I'm sorry, I'm trying. It's alright. It's alright. Um, so, since you obviously don't have a car, you're gonna have to rent one. Now, the nicer the car, the better. What's your budget? I mean, I have some Christmas money saved up, but- That is so stupid! You're stupid. You need to get a job as soon as possible. If you don't have an income, you might as well kiss a second date goodbye. Look, I, I don't know about this, man. This seems like a lot of money and commitment, and I was just looking for something kind of simple and sweet, you know? Calvin, that's ridiculous. If she says some guy bought her a hamster in high school, you buy her a minimum of three puppies. And if she says that, ah, I don't know, that she wants to have some space because she's going to a different job and she's not sure if she wants to move into the apartment with you and she's been talking to this guy she's known since sixth grade and she's, she seems like she loves him and we've been dating for two years and I just love my life. Keith, is, is this about Julia? Oh. <laughs> it's 
been six months now, man. You, you gotta try moving on. Okay, I know it's tough. Okay, well, I don't actually know that. This is kind of my first date I'm about to go on. But... Things have stopped between you two, and no matter how much you did for her, or how hard you tried to impress her, or make her happy, she's gone now. And it's not your fault. Like, don't blame yourself for it, but just learn from it, you know? You're gonna be okay. That was really nice to hear, Calvin. You really think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're ready. You're ready. Keith, the date. You are so ready. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, dude, come on, you're ready. <sighs> okay. You need to get out there and show the world you're a part of it. You're gonna have a fucking awesome date. Also, take that just in case things don't work out. Get out there. Keith. Keith, are you still in there? Today's not till tomorrow. Keith. Dude. Dude, Keith. You, I left my keys in there. <laughs>